Welcome back to Full Deck Gaming. It's been a while since I compared Poor Professor and Blitz. This is an updated video for 2022. Both Poor Professor and Blitz have added some new features and it's time I acknowledge them. If you enjoy this content, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments if you watched the 2021 comparison and what you think of this video in comparison to that one. This channel releases new League of Legends videos every week and I want you to be a part of it. Reviewing third-party apps is a major staple of this channel, and if you are looking for information on League of Legends third-party apps, this channel is the channel for you. Check out the description section for a Porofessor referral code. If you are considering trying Porofessor out, then use that link. This is going to be a long one, so watch the whole video if you're a real G. Just like the 2021 comparison, I will be breaking this video down into five categories. Scouting reports on players, scouting reports on champions, pre-game, end game, and gameplay quality. But, I will be adding another category at the end, app quality, in order to explain the quality of the apps themselves, as well as how well the apps hold up in head-to-head -head matchups like this video. Let's get right into this. Scouting reports on players for Blitz, it looks like this. This is some weak sauce right here. This scouting report is the sweet baby rays of scouting reports. As you can see from the scouting report, it's not really that much. It gives you a little bit of information, but there is much to be desired here. Compare that with Poor Professor and it's night and day. Poor Professor can tell me where I normally play, my rank, my win rate, number of games played, and a bunch of other information. There are also some big bold icons under this player cards telling me that uh, Vayne is unkillable and that Lee Sin is inexperienced. These can be very helpful if you are looking to get an edge on your opponent. The moral ambiguity of that aside, point goes to Poor Professor, it's not even close. Let's move on to scouting reports on champions. Blitz comes in strong with champion information here. While the champion page has builds and runes information, the scouting report comes on the right column, win rate, pick rate, and ban rates. The column also has key insights as well as strengths and weaknesses. Blitz elaborates and will give you information on how to play against the champion in some cases. There is also a matchup tracker on the page and this gives you a giant breakdown of a shit ton of champions and how well the selected champion does in the matchup. Poor Professor has a lot of information here that has to do with the champion. Poor Professor has skill, order, counter laners, spells, runes, build patch notes, replays, pro builds, and even the best players of that champion from around the world. This is a ton of information, however, this does not tell me how to play against the champion. In fact, it does not give me any further insight into what I need to do to beat Garen. As far as the scouting report goes, Poor Professor is pretty lacking on how to counter and how to win. Based on the champion page breakdown, Blitz takes a hard-earned W in this round. Let's talk pregame. Eat a lot of carbs and alternate water between alternative beverages. Wrong type of pregame. Excuse me, let's try that again. As far as Blitz is concerned, this is your pregame. You can see a number of things, such as who's playing together as well as ranked. There is not really much else here to see. Unfortunately, I already covered the scouting report. There is, however, the option to import builds, summoner spells, runes, etc., which cannot be overlooked if you are a lazy noob, just like I am. Porofessor's pregame looks like this. You can import your runes, summoner spells, and give the scouting report that has already been mentioned. It is pretty nice, but the pregame is pretty standard in comparison to Blitz. I've said pretty way too many times. However, I have no intention of adding another point to Porofessor because of the same scouting report that had already got a point for before. This is a draw. When it comes to the end game, you can always go back to your game history on Poor Professor or Blitz and check out the entire game breakdown. I like how it basically imports the base game and the advanced stats on the base game. This is great because I can get all the information from the base game without even having to use these apps. Blitz does have a gold graph, which is pretty nice, and oh, yeah, you can see exactly where this game turned into a fat L. However, it does abuse my vision score, and let's be honest, what third-party app would not be complete without abusing my vision score? I also like that Blitz is calling me thick, and that it does have a comparison to where you should be in ranked based on the gold and vision score as well. Poor Professor's postgame can best be described as graphs on top of graphs crapping out charts with even more charts and statistics than the Oakland Athletic Sabermetric system. That's a Moneyball reference if you didn't know. As I said, Poor Professor has a chart for everything. It has a chart to compare you to your lane counterpart. It has a chart to compare you to your rank. It has these charts for every player and every game. 
It has the times you bought your items. It has so many things here, so much information. It also has advanced details in the table if you are not a visual learner. I very much feel like Poor Professor is trying to provide all of the information you need in order to grow as a League of Legends gamer. Blitz summarizes the game well enough, but Poor Professor gives so much information that it is hard for me to give the point to Blitz, so I won't. Poor Professor takes the lead in round four. When it comes to gameplay quality, check out what Blitz brings to the table. You can see the suggested skills to learn as well as the CS tracker in the top right corner of the screen. I like it. Very subtle and not getting in the way. It does only give a little bit of information though, and that kind of sucks, but you have to make a trade. In addition, I would be remiss if I did not mention the jungle overlay timers. I'm always going to say how huge of a fan I am of this, especially as a jungle main. Do not let my effective use of Stridebreaker in these Garen highlights make you think I'm a top lane main. I am very much not. That is just a brief overview. You can also pull in the suggested builds. Great if you like cookie cutters. Terrible if you need to learn how to counter build. PSA to anyone and everyone right here. Build anti-heal. When it comes to Poor Professor, the CS tracker is much bigger and has much more information on it. I like its transparency and how you don't cover anything else up despite taking up space on the screen. You can import your builds just like Blitz. Poor Professor also has jungle timers and I really have to mention how amazing jungle timers are. I legit might have to make my own third party app with Overwolf and just call it just jungle timers. And well, it will just tell you when the dragon comes up and that's it. Both of these apps perform admirably in this category and they are very comparable in gameplay quality, except for one thing. Using Poor Professor made me lag my ass off. I'm talking I would expect this level of lag in Apex Legends. Practically unplayable, took several L's in lane, and therefore had unused background gameplays because I was lagging that hard. This category goes to Blitz because I do not lag when I use it. The final category, App Quality, is going to be a great addition to this video. Blitz has been getting much better at not crashing or needing updates on Champion Select, right? I mean, have you realized how much the quality has improved recently? I have to give Blitz props for how far it has come in the past year. Not many know this, but I made the original Poor Professor vs Blitz video because I was pissed Blitz kept crashing every game. The quality of life of Blitz has greatly improved in the past year, and yes I'm aware of the search bar crashing at you, that was just patched so I don't want to hear about it in the comments. As far as the app quality goes for Poor Professor, I have to say that the app has a lot more to offer, and has so much more you can utilize if you're willing to put in the time. While Blitz focuses on impacting your game, Poor Professor has replays and pro builds that are just screaming to be used, but the quality of the app itself? It's pretty solid. I rarely have an issue with Poor Professor, except for the lag. As far as how far Blitz has come, it did just come off of a major patch to fix some issues, so I want to reward that, but at the same time, Poor Professor has always been a more reliable app and has always been more consistent in this. Despite slowing down my game, I have to give this round and the match to Poor Professor. Poor Professor takes the win 3-2, and before you Blitz gang rise up in the comments, let me be clear. I could have made the final category trainer quality and given the win to Poor Professor in a landslide. Both apps have good aspects, both apps have bad aspects. It's really what you are looking for in a third party app that will tell you what app to use. I recommend you try several out, including Mobilytics, which I know hasn't been mentioned in this video, but I like Mobilytics. And if you are still here, you're going to want to smash that red subscribe button because we do a lot of interesting things on this channel, and I know you're going to want to be a part of it. I'm out.